Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're going to go over how to implement software in your organization. Deploying a new app can be challenging no matter the size of your company. You have to make sure all the bases are covered before launching so the users understand the process, see the value of the new software, and ultimately adopt and use the new app. I'm a software consultant and I help a lot of small companies to implement new software, so today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do it. All right, let's get started. It is really important that you spend some time researching the different apps available to cover your needs. For example, if you're looking for a CRM, you have to make a list of the features you need and then find the CRMs that have them. So if you need to send email notifications to your clients, this is going to be a must on your list. Or maybe you want to send information from the CRM to your financial app, like QuickBooks. You have to check that there is an integration available and if not, See if there is a connector like Zapier that can transfer info between the apps. Also, if you're already using a CRM, you should make a list of the things that you don't like and make sure the new CRM doesn't have the same issues. If you want to learn more about this step, I have made a video on how to choose software to run your business that I will link in the description. I also recommend that you sign up for a few CRMs that you have in mind and use them for a bit to make sure the user interface looks good and it is easy to use. Remember that the users have to use the app, so if it is difficult to navigate or maybe a little clunky, they're not going to like it. You should also test any integrations that you consider a must. Some apps are going to say that they integrate very well with other apps, but then the integration is limited or doesn't do what you were looking for. If that's the case, you can use a connector, but you should test it out as well. Once you have decided what is the best app for your business, you will have to start setting up some of the basic features you need. At this point, you don't have to set up every single feature, but the ones you consider are a must to keep the business operating. For example, if you're setting up a project manager application, you will need to create some templates as well as create some automations to generate tasks based on other actions that the users perform. I would also add a few users to set up permissions and roles. And these users are going to help you test the app, which is the next step. Another thing to consider at this point is to set up any critical integrations. For example, you can integrate the new project manager with your CRM. So when you win a deal, a project is created. Another integration for a project manager would be to sync it with your payroll software. So when employees track time on the project manager, the hours are logged into the other app automatically. Again, you shouldn't set up every single feature on your list, only the ones that are necessary. The goal is to launch a new app as fast as possible because once the users start using it, there will be a lot of feedback and you will have to make changes. After the basic features are set up, the next step is to test that everything is working. You have to be careful because if you integrated a new app with other apps, you will be triggering the integration while testing. To get some data in your new app, you can either create some records manually or import a database if you already have it. So if you're currently using a CRM and you're moving to a new one, you can export the data from the old CRM and use it in the new one for testing. It is important to know that you will be also testing how to import data to your new app. Sometimes this process is a little tricky. Also, this is not your final data import. You will do it this time to test that everything works and then you will delete the import and get up-to-date data that you will use on the launch date. Another important part of testing is to give a few users access to the new app so they can check it out and use it by creating records, navigating, performing searches, changing the settings, and more. After you have finished testing the app and confirming that all the basics work properly, you can create a few articles or videos that will show how to use the app. There is no need to create detailed videos about everything, but just a few basic videos on how to set up the account, sync email, calendar, and other apps if this is something that the users will have to do. Also, a video overview of the app would be great showing how to create records, search, and any other basic actions that the users will be performing. This is a critical step on making sure that the users adopt the new app. Articles are also an option, so if a tutorial is short, you could create an article with a few screenshots. Keep in mind that most of the apps have their own knowledge database, so I would check it out before making any tutorials. But if you customize the app a lot, you'll have to do the work. The users will appreciate the personalized tutorial. Once you have the tutorials, send them to the users that will be using the app. They should watch them in advance so they get familiar with the new software. 
Once you're ready to launch the new app, you will have to get the most current data from your old app and import it. At this point, you should have experience on how to import data because you did it while testing the app. But I would try to schedule this import on a weekend and launch the app on Monday. This way, if something goes wrong while importing the data, you can postpone the launch date and it won't affect the users. If you don't have any data to import, then you could ask some users to add some records to the new system before launching it. This way, once the rest of the users open the new app, there will be some data in there, which will make it easier for them to understand the new app. Once the data is in the system, you're ready to launch the app. Normally, you should set up a meeting with all the users and explain why the company is implementing a new app and how it will improve things for the user. Also, make sure to do a complete overview as well as answer any questions they might have. Hopefully, they already watched the video tutorials, so they will have good questions for you. Right after the meeting, the user should get the login info so they can sign into the new app and start using it. There will be a lot of more questions in the first week, so it would be great if the users that help you test the app also help you with answering any questions. If you're the admin, you should make yourself available as much as possible so the users know you have their back. Remember that this is all new for the users, so they will need your support. This will ensure that the adoption is successful. Keep in mind that the launch could be a little bit chaotic, but if you follow all the steps on this video, you should be good. Also, as the users use the app, they will have feedback, so you need to act quickly and make any necessary changes. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you did, please click the like button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm a software consultant, so if you need any help with implementing a new app in your business, check out my website for more info. I will link it in the description. Thanks for watching.